possession, illegal possession of uh, firearms and um, ammunition will go on. So we expect uh, Bobby Wine to appear in court again next week on 23rd. Regarding his condition, that is still very scanty. Okay, thank you very much for that update. Uh, that was our correspondent Isabel Nakiria there in Kampala for us. Well, let's get you more uh, perspective on those developments out of Uganda. I'm joined live in the studio by Dunstan Omari. He is a political analyst and advocate at the High Court of Kenya. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Dunstan. Um, first off, Bobby Wine, he's appeared before a military court instead of a civilian one. Uh, what's your take on that? Uh, under the uh, Ugandan laws, under the UDPP laws, the law spells out in Section 19 that whoever is found with a military ad hardware, like a gun, AK-47 or those guns, those guns that are owned by the military, you will be charged in a, in a martial court. That has been challenged in the Constitutional Court in Uganda, and the Constitutional Court has said that is illegal. So. Bobby cannot appear before the court martial under the, under the case law, the decision of the Constitutional Court. Uganda as it is does not respect the decisions of the court. Therefore, he's being charged under a law that has been declared unconstitutional. So it's a very complicated situation. It's a very complicated there. situation. And internationally, universally, Court marshals belong to soldiers. They don't belong to civilians. So Uganda, what it's doing is fundamentally going against fundamental human rights that have been accepted universally worldwide. Okay, let's talk a bit more about uh, Bobby Wine. He's a hugely popular figure, as we know, in Uganda because of his music. Um, do you think this trial will lead, well, we've already heard there is some unrest. Do you think it's likely to lead to more? What, what, what is happening is that Bobby Wine is taking the same route to seven it took for him to come to power. Whenever you persecute somebody who has connection to the masses, seven the president at what time was persecuted by the regime of, of uh, dictator Idi Amin. He, he disappeared to you to Uganda, to Tanzania, led a revolution, came back and took to power. So the more they are persecuting Bobby Wine, the more they are making Bobby Wine an institution. The opposition in Uganda has been largely under Dr. Bisige, who has lost the cloud. Now that we have Bobby Wine coming in, the more they are arresting, the unrest that is we are seeing, the type of international media that is capturing this story, the, the story is now a, an international question. So we are getting, a, he is getting a bigger profile and he might be the, the ground on which the opposition will rally to make the President um, seven his term come to an end. But let's talk a little bit more about what happened. I mean, how much of a concern is the attack on President Yaweri Museveni's convoy? Um, do you think it points to a wider uh, sense of anger among Ugandans? There's quite a lot of anger in the Ugandans. The Ugandans have tried all their means through the electoral process to unseat Museveni, which has failed. President Museveni has entrenched his rule in Uganda. So that rallying point has been missing. Now that Bobby Wine has come in, that anger is boiling. And if that anger continues to boil, we are likely to see a lot of problems in Uganda. That might be the only way to restore democracy in Uganda. So that anger is building to be a national anger and it's building to be an international anger because once everybody is, is looking at the events in Uganda, the atrocities that we are seeing, the type of torture that we have seen all over on Bobby Wine and very many others that have not been uh, have not been reported is a clear indication that the Ugandan people have a lot of anger. Okay, well, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, that was Dunstan Omari, a political analyst and advocate at the High Court of Kenya. Thank you very much for coming in and giving us your insight on the situation.